Cause he gets up in the morning And he goes to work at nine And he comes back home at 5.30 Gets the same train every time Meet Norman Rimmington, the most loyal man in football. He's 90 years of age and he's still working as kit man for his beloved Barnsley. He's all so good And he's all so fine And he's all so healthy In his body and his mind Good lad Alright, Rim. Mm. I'm alright. I've got my uh, opinion, on it. Nah, you don't talk to us on a Monday if we've got beaten Saturday, do you? <laughs> Just ignore us. I, will, I will this Monday if you beat these. Yeah. Norman signed for the Reds as a goalkeeper during the wartime league in 1946 after leaving his job as a fitter down in the pits. I was 23 years of age when I started here. We had a training session and my job was to evade on coming forwards. So they came at you and tried to eat you. And corner kicks and everything, they just went to uh, eat you, you know. And a lot more physical. I think it's better, but they seem to protect the goalkeepers so much nowadays. But it's far better than, uh, than being it. After a dislocated shoulder, two broken metatarsals, five broken fingers and a broken leg, Norman decided it was time to hang his boots up in 1952. But that didn't stop him from working at his club. For the last 62 years, he's gone on to do just about every job imaginable here at Orkwell. I was player, coach, groundsman and uh, physio and keep man. So I've done them all. Nowadays, Norman spends most of the time at the club in here, the laundry room. This is where all work's done. But it's the glory days on the pitch he likes to remember. So what about these, Norman? How have goalkeeper gloves changed since when you started? I say I never wore them. You never uh, wore them? No, no, we never had gloves. And only pair ever I had, my mother knitted them. And if it were chucking it down with rain, they were bloody useless anyway. So, but no, nah, they all wear them now. Everybody wears them, don't they? It must have stung your hand, though, when the ball at your hand. Well, aye. Uh, but, I mean, you had to put up with that, hadn't you? That's why I broke my fingers and one thing and another. With every ball. My fondest memory, I've so many. I should think that we got two promotions with Alan Clark and then one with Norman Hunter went into the second division. And then, of course, the ultimate was uh, going into Premier League with Danny. There were great times, you know, but we've had us rough times as well. Uh, I've seen, in my time, I've seen 27 managers here, which is ridiculous, really. I don't think I'll take for lunch next week. <laughs> it's your turn to pay as well, by the way. We're at. Have you, have you got your wallet, have you? He's a great lad. He knows the job. He's got to work with what he's got, though, has not he? You know. He's not a magician. Really. We'll pick you up. He's the fabric of the club, you know, and uh, without him here, I think I'd be lost myself, you know, because over the years that we've been together and had the banter together, it's uh, we'd be lost without him. And um, I'm not too sure to say the same about the other way around, like, but there you go. Um, <laughs> but he's been fantastic, and I, and I think, you know, the, the amount of, uh, of regard and high regard is, is, is held with all the players and all the staff as well. You know, it's, it's tremendous. He's a Bantam one, so it's good to have somebody like that around, you know what I mean? Like, they call him Barnsley legend, Mr. Barnsley, so yeah, someone that we've experienced that you know what I mean it still comes in every day first day, first thing last to leave and that it's, it's magnificent when you have someone that's been here day in day out for that long it gives you a boost about yourself to come in and you know obviously get on with your job I mean if he's coming in at night then what excuse do we have does he offer you some tactical advice now? Yes, every Monday morning, gives me a bollocking every Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he does. And not just now, in my first steps into management when I came here, he was a tremendous help as well, you know, and um, and I think from that point of view, it's never, it's never changed, you know, and uh, he still offers a great words to have wisdom from my point of view and, and the rest of the staff as well. Do you agree with most of his tactics? I have to. <laughs> I have every size of his hands. <laughs> I had a chance to go to Southampton. I had a chance to go to Norwich. I could have gone with Alan Clark to Leeds. He begged of me to go with him and I said, no. I said, uh, I'm not interested. So I didn't go anywhere. I stayed here because I love Barnsley. I'm, I brought up with Barnsley. I've lived at Barnsley all my life and I've watched Barnsley. And I'm, uh, 
well, I've dedicated, it's been my life, hasn't it, at Barnsley, all my life.